it has been a rainy week here i have been on vacation this week trying to get stuff done and it has just seemed like it's rained half the week it makes it really difficult to get anything done in this weather um Today has actually rained most of the day too, and now finally the sun is starting to come out right here at the end of the day. So anyway, it's about time to put the chickens and the animals up. I thought maybe I'd show you the orchard. The orchard's going through a lot of changes. We've missed a lot of the changes. Uh, most of the trees have already been through bloom. So the, the first trees to bloom, because we have a lot of different types of fruit trees here, first trees to bloom are the plums. And they, they actually bloom so early that we end up having a frost usually after they bloom. I don't know if that affects uh, them having fruit or not, but we've only got, we got our first plum last year, we just got one. So we have a ton of blooms and we've had a ton of blooms every year. So hopefully we'll get some plums this year. So the next trees to, to, uh, to bloom are the peaches. And uh, the peaches and the nectarine tree, so this is our nectarine tree right here. That tree is so similar to a peach. It looks, the leaves look the same, the, you know the the blooms look the same it's very similar to a peach tree it seems like um, but they've already went through bloom so this is our red haven peach right here you should see all the blooms have bloomed the petals have fallen off and the, you know the, the the flowers are just kind of still going away right now so ton of blooms on this red haven peach so it looks like we have even more red peaches than we've had before and our white peaches have always done really well we've had really good fruit on them every year and um, the next thing to bloom is the cherries so we've had their sweet cherries we don't have any sour cherries so we we just have sweet cherries and they've went to bloom already and now finally the apple trees are blooming so we haven't got very many apples from our orchard we usually only get a few blooms or a few apples and you can see I don't know if we can see or not but this is um you got a couple sets of blooms up here on this tree. So this is the red roam tree. And it has a few blooms. That's pretty average of what we get on our apple trees. So this one here behind me. This is a Granny Smith apple tree. Haven't got any fruit off of it yet. Um, but it actually has several blooms on it. Not a ton. But the thing I really want to show you is the gala trees. Oh man. So this gala tree right here is just full of blooms i don't know if you can see all the blooms on this tree so this we have two gala trees my wife's favorite apple is a gala a gala and a fuji so but uh so look at all the blooms on this one gala that is awesome so we have never really had a lot of apples really hoping that hopefully this is the year we start getting some apples um most of our apple trees do have some bloom on them uh, this is a golden delicious or yellow delicious. It's got a few blooms on it. And then here's our other gala tree. It has quite a few, um, blooms, but nowhere close to the other one. So, um, that one gala tree, I'm really hoping that we'll end up getting some fruit off of that gala. Um, I mean, you can see it down there. It looks awesome with all the flowers on there. So we'll have to keep up our spraying regiment try to keep the tree healthy and hopefully we can get some good quality fruit at the end of the year so so one other thing we have out we have a few other things out here in the orchard besides fruit trees we do have uh, some berry plants out here so we've got two beds of strawberries so this is one bed of strawberries and there are some blooms starting to bloom in that bed and um, this bed here is supposed to be a june bearing and it's I've never kept it watered enough and this year it's been wet enough that it actually has blooms so I'm getting blooms out of this strawberry bed as well uh, so the strawberries are are, uh, are starting to come in and uh, should end up having a, a few strawberries this year too so haven't had as many strawberries out here because I haven't kept these raised beds wet enough through the years um, you use raised beds and strawberries you really need some kind of drip system and to to try to keep them you know moist enough if you want any strawberries from them so never had the success out here yet as we did in town when we kept them watered so hopefully uh now that we're living out here right next to here we'll be able to keep these watered and end up getting a bunch of strawberries from these two strawberry beds so typically in town uh what we would get 
on a June bearing strawberry box like this, um, four by eight box, ended up with about 10 pounds of strawberries off a of June bearing. So, um, we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening. Um, the nice thing is down there, those are ever bearing. So those are continuously just making strawberries throughout the year. And, uh, but, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Cause when June bearing come on, man, they just, they just make a ton of strawberries for about three weeks and then they're done, you know, for the whole year. But you can you can get quite a few strawberries uh, pretty fast. So anyway, the strawberries are looking good. We also have I hate to show you these because we haven't weeded we haven't weeded this at all. And I, I somebody have a so berry plant. I have some blackberries. I'm gonna show you. These are blackberries. These are tame thornless blackberries. They make a really big blackberry. I have no idea what the secret is to keeping the weeds out of your blackberry. So we do have like a mulch in here. You can tell there's no weeds in this section. Um, but then, you know, we end up getting the lawn grass popping through and uh, it just ends up looking horrible because you can't mow in between all these. So I need to know what the secret is. Maybe I just need to have a deeper mulch system around the blackberries, but uh, definitely can't keep the, the weeds down in the strawberries. Next is the red raspberries. I had like six little bitty canes that we planted. So this is gonna look horrible too. The weeds, you ain't even gonna be able to see these. But anyway, I don't know if there's even an angle I can show you this. Maybe this angle. It looks different to me than it does on camera. But anyway, so now when you look at this, instead of six little canes, I mean, there's probably at least 30 or 40 little canes of red raspberries here. And these are the heritage red raspberries. I need to clean this bed up and make it look better. Um, but they are awesome because they put on fruit twice a year. So here in the spring, we'll end up getting some blooms. We'll get some red raspberries. Um, they taste like candy right off of the right off the, the cane here. And uh, then in the fall again, we'll get another set of raspberries. So they put on fruit twice a year. Those things are pretty awesome. I'm <clears throat> really happy with those those heritage red raspberries. But anyway, that's the uh, that's the orchard. I just thought maybe I'd walk through, give a little vlog. Um, basically, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is the year. I'm hoping this is the year for apples, because there is just way more blooms on here than you can imagine. This thing looks awesome. So, hopefully, we end up getting a bunch of apples this year. Look, my hopes are up. Okay. This is gonna be the year. I have a feeling. So, anyway, guys, that's the that's the orchard. Just want to show you. Thanks for watching.